Guys, it's Johnny from WP Johnny. I hope you guys are enjoying my crazy Corona lockdown here right now. But um, I'm gonna do a review today on the Pine Grow web editor slash website builder. So this is something different WordPress users have been asking me. They wanted to know if this is a good tool for building WordPress, you know, custom WordPress sites, like custom designs, custom themes and all that. And they were comparing it to page builders or oxygen. You know, I think these, these two are the, the closest like full on custom theme editor designer programs out there. Uh, I've never used it before. And I just did a quick run through before this review video. So I know what I'm going to say already. Uh, but the site, the product looks really polished. It looks really cool. If you play like the trial videos, it, it, it looks amazing. Um, it looks like it can do a lot of complex things. Wouldn't and, it be great to have a visual web? Looks relatively easy. Anyway, I don't want to watch this video right now. Let's get started. So, uh, let's see. Uh, well, I don't want to save this. So when I first when I first came in, uh, when I first came into this, uh, I felt a little overwhelmed. It felt like a Photoshop. Uh, and then also, by the way, I found this to be very annoying. This thing right here, if you accidentally click that, you get the website. So I, I wish they didn't do that because sometimes you, okay, there you go. And I got the website again, you trying trying to click the other thing. So, so at first it's kind of like, uh, it's like, what is this? Is this for designing a page or for designing a theme? So new page was a thing. I wish it was like new project, but anyways, it was a new page. And then from here, this there was a little bit of friction for me because I wasn't sure like what am I supposed to pick I don't want bootstrap I don't want to use that I just want a plain starter theme or maybe like a demo like pre-finished theme that I can choose from and I wasn't able to find that it was a little confusing um, but anyway so I, I was like all right we'll, we'll try to use a we'll try to use bootstrap or actually you know what I'm just gonna go with the, how about that one Okay, so at least this one, it loaded something. But before, when I picked like a blank HTML HTML page, it was something like this. And I just picked it because I, I want to see how hard it is to start from scratch. Um, oh, man, it says I already have something like that. Okay, it's just that. So, all right, so here's my blank page. And then it was, uh, <laughs> it was a lot of friction. I'm, maybe I'm a total noob, right? Maybe I'm a total noob. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, here you go. Activate WordPress. Let's see what that does. Uh, yeah, let's convert it. And then it says it's converted to theme settings. Okay, I've already done that. And okay, folder doesn't exist. So create it first. So Anyway, you, you have to put all kinds of stuff in and let's pretend I did that like these Icons on top are a little ambiguous for me. I didn't know you know what each one did just from looking at it So if you compare it to like say element or Divi on the left side, it'll tell you like this is a block this is a This widget that kind of design module up here like these little icons See what just happened? What just happened? Okay, it took me to like a preview. So, th like I said, there was a lot of friction. Um, I just felt like I didn't know what things meant. Okay, um, and yeah, it's a little bit like Photoshop. It feels very professional. It's very polished, very quick, right? Because I'm working locally, I, I don't have to wait for things to load on the internet. That's kind of cool. You can design a website while uh, while you're on on an airplane going somewhere, right? You're flying to your vacation. You can knock out a, a custom WordPress site. Uh, then this is okay. This is your style sheets down here. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's it's sort of a little bit like Adobe's old uh, Dreamweaver or Macromedia Dreamweaver, something like that. It has that kind of vibe. So right off, uh, I would say that there's a lot of friction just getting started. I wasn't sure like how to get started. I wanted to like import a demo site, and I, I just couldn't figure that out. Um, and then I even tried going to the documentation documentation page and then it like it tells you this documentation page is outdated please go to this other one so you know and I got stuck here pretty much and I didn't I didn't even want to bother with it anymore um, also too while I was working on it you know what I got to thinking I was like 
how do I get my content in here? Because I want to see what my content looks like, right? Most of us who are who want to have a custom site, it's probably not going to be our very first WordPress site ever, right? Maybe we have an existing site built off some theme and then now we're going, you know what? We want something cleaner. We don't want a page builder. We want more design flexibility. So most people using something like this are probably going to be you know, redesigning their site, an existing site. And because this is done offline, it's not connected to your website. So I can't even see my content in here. It's kind of weird, right? Like if you think about interior design, you have to put stuff in your house first, like the actual main furniture and pieces, and then comes the decor on top of it. But to work in a program like this, feels you're doing it feels like you're doing the decor before you put the main design before you put the floors and and the refrigerator and the important appliances so it, it, it's hard it, it's going to be a lot of friction for me i don't recommend this tool if you're just wanting to do one custom site one and done for your personal site i think it's going to be a hell of a lot easier going with oxygen builder or like um a, or one of those bloated page builders or one of these gutenberg block libraries or gutenberg page builder you know, I think that's gonna be a lot easier for you. Uh, Pine Grow would probably be great if you plan to design many websites. If you're gonna do tons of custom sites and lots of custom designs, you've taken the time to really get the workflow nice and smooth, nice and streamlined, and you get very comfortable with the program, then it's great. But if you're just an in and out guy like me, or you thought it was gonna be easy, I'm gonna tell you right now, like looking at it, like I don't feel like it's easy. Um, I, I just wasn't able to put stuff together and and I think and I even wonder if it's made for for WordPress I think it's made for many different kinds of sites and they've now adjusted it to cater to WordPress right so those are my those are my thoughts I still think it's an awesome tool I just personally uh, I think there's easier tools to get going and I wouldn't use this unless you really like this and this is your desired workflow all right hope that helps see you guys next time